Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today's our lecture is about the soil mechanics. In this lecture, we are going to find out some unknown parameter for the soil. And the problem states that the moist unit weight of a soil is 17.5 kN per cubic meter. Given that the water content is 16% and specific gravity of 2.75. So these are the given parameter for this soil sample. And we have to find out the dry unit weight, porosity and degree of saturation for this soil sample. So here we can write down the given data which is the moist unit weight of the soil. Gamma is equal to 17.5 kilonewton per cubic meter. The water content is 16% for this soil sample. And the specific gravity of the soil sample is 2.75. So first we have to find out the dry unit weight. The dry unit weight is gamma d represented by gamma d. It is unknown to us. So this can be found, found easily by this equation that gamma d is equal to gamma divided by 1 plus water content. So gamma is the unit weight of the water which is 17.5 dividing by 1 plus water content and the water content is 16% if we divide 16 divide 16% 16 by 100 we got 0.16 so we should use here the decimal water content so in decimal it comes out to be 0.16 so dividing this value we get 15 kilonewton per cubic meter this is the dry unit weight for this soil sample remember this equation in order to find out the dry unit weight if you know the water content in the unit weight of the soil sample. Now to find out the B which is the porosity. So porosity can be represented by N. It is unknown to us. So it can be easily found by this formula. It is the E dividing by 1 plus E. So it is the ratio of Y's. But here the E is also unknown to us which is the Y ratio. So in order to find the Y ratio, we have to use another equation. So with the help of this equation, gamma D is equal to specific gravity into gamma of water into 1 plus E. With the help of this equation, we can find out our Y ratio because GS is given to us. Gamma W is the unit weight of water. It, it is also given to us. Gamma D, which is the dry unit weight of water we've, of the soil, we found out it is 15. So the only unknown is E, so we can easily found out, find out E from this equation. So it can be, if we transfer this into the left side, so it becomes 1 plus E is equal to GS into gamma W divided by gamma D. Now putting the value, so 1 plus E is equal to the GS is the specific gravity is 2.75. Multiplying with the gamma W, gamma W, it should be kept in mind that the unit weight of the water is a standard and it should be remembered that it is 9.81 kN per cubic meter. Dividing by gamma D which is 15 here. So 1 plus E it comes out to be the void ratio comes out to be 1.79. So E is equal to 1.79 minus 1 comes out to be 0.79. Now, putting this E value here in this equation, so we will find the porosity. So, N comes out to be E, E is 0.79 dividing by 1 plus E. So, 1 plus 0.79 multiplying it with the 100% because porosity is always represented in percentage. So, it comes out to be 44.1%. So this is the porosity present in this soil sample. Now to find out the degree of saturation for this soil sample. So C is the degree of saturation which is unknown to us. Similarly we can use this equation S into E is equal to W is water content into GS. So S can degree of saturation can be found out dividing by E. Now plugging the value of water content which is 16% or 0.16 
multiplying it with GS, which is 2.75, dividing it with the E, and E is 0.79, multiplying it with the 100%, because degree of saturation is also represented in the percentage. So, from this value, by multiplying with the 100% and dividing this, in simplifying this equation, we got S is equal to 55%. So this is the degree of saturation for this soil sample. Hope you guys understand how to find the unknown parameter by using the relations of the soil mechanics. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.